All right, now let's take a look at number six on the worksheet here. Uh, notice how I have parentheses, so that means I need to start with the distributive property. And of course, we always do parentheses first. We're mathematicians, and we know that PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sacagawea, and the P stands for parentheses. So I distribute the two into the parentheses. And so nothing on the outside changes, so 5H will be there. But when we do 2 times 11, it's 22. And 2 times negative h is negative 2h, and then equals negative 5. Now, just like the uh, number one question on this worksheet, notice how both variables are on the left side. Those are my like terms, and they're both on the left. So, when they're both on the same side, I don't need to do the inverse. I don't need to do the opposite. I just follow what the sign says. What's 5h minus 2h? That's 3h. And nothing else changes. Plus 22 equals negative 5. Again, because the variables were on the same side of the equal sign, I just follow what the signs say, 5h minus 2h. Now, so I have 3h on the left, and I have to move that positive 22 to the negative 5, because those are like terms. And I have to move 22 across the equal sign, so that means I need to do the inverse this time, because I'm crossing the equal sign. So I subtract 22 from both sides. The 22s will cancel. And I'll have 3h equals, looking at negative 5 minus 22, same sign, add and keep. So 22 plus 5 is 27, and we keep the negative, so it's negative 27. Now for our last step, you can see that to get h by itself, we need to divide by 3. And when we do that, the 3s will cancel, and h will equal negative 9, because a negative 27 divided by a positive 3 will be a negative and 27 divided by 3 equals 9. So h equals negative 9.